in this episode of DePraw Power Skating, we're talking about trampolines and rebounding and why they're so great for your dynamic, explosive skating. Coming up next. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for another episode of Dupra Power Skating. If this is our first time meeting, I'm Coach Ryan Dupra. I'm a national power skating coach. I've been instructing power skating for the last 20 years, but specifically on how to help players unlock that hidden gear and get explosive, dynamic, and get that half a second or half a step for breakaway speed out on the ice. So in this episode, what we're going to be talking a lot about is the big debate that's been on for the last several years about being a heel pusher versus being a toe punch and toe pusher at the end of your breakaway stride. And hopefully this trampoline will give you a great example. Make sure you stay around to the end while I'll talk to you about a free ebook you can get to start your off-season training this summer. Okay, before we get in depth, make sure you hit subscribe and hit that notification bell for future Dupra Power Skating videos because we've got a boatload coming your way this summer. So here I am in a trampoline. This is probably one of the best training resources for you if you're any athlete, but especially a hockey player. Okay, and here's the gist. This is how it works, the theory behind it. The rebounding effect of a trampoline will go through your entire nervous system. Now, it's not gonna happen overnight. It's not gonna happen over week. I've also been a power lifting coach for many years and my strongest females and males in the weight room were always on the trampoline in their spare time. Now, they weren't even knowing what it was doing to their bodies. They were just out playing on a trampoline to have fun. But as a matter of fact, it affects your entire lymph node system and there's published studies about how it cleanses the body just because of the natural rebound effects and rhythm, right? And if you know me, the flying Frenchman, or some people are now calling me the hippie hockey coach, I'm all about the science of being an athlete, but plus the artistic creativity of being an athlete as well. There is a feel and there is a rhythm which really compounds when you're talking about trampoline training. So because of that rebound effect and jumping, popping your knees, not only are you gonna be more explosive and dynamic, it's going to talk to all of those fast twitch rebounding muscles in your body. Now there's scientific proof, if you take a biopsy of those muscles, you cannot change a fast twitch muscle fiber into a slow twitch, and you can't change a slow twitch muscle fiber into a fast twitch, but we can change those muscles to react differently by providing a stimuli over time and that stimuli is the rebound effect all right so if you think about it those kids or those players that are out on a trampoline all the time are getting that effect all throughout their calf their ankle into your quads up through the hip flexors the glutes the hammies it also travels through your core it's a known fact that players that jump on the trampoline a lot for fun can win almost every sit-up competition at the school level. I've surveyed many players that always win the sit-up challenge and come to find out they spend a lot of time on the trampoline. And if you think about the whole theory of, of a trampoline itself with the springs and the pushback, the rebound, the snap, that's exactly how we want our legs to fire out on the ice. So here's an example of what I mean. If you took away your hip bend and your knees and you only focused on the calf action, and this goes to that whole debate on being a toe pusher or a heel pusher. If I keep my legs straight and I do not flex my calves or snap my ankles and I just bounce like this with straight, no snapping calves, no flexing calves or ankle action. What's higher? Am I going to get higher like this? Or am I going to get higher by snapping the toes down just by that little extra punch? Right there, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. But the proof is in the pudding. It's kind of hard to debate.
So, Coach, what kind of exercises can you do on a trampoline? Anything you want, really. You can go with both feet, right? And you can simply do a five, ten minute session of just bouncing. You can go the dead, dead leg version, which helps you with your full extension and snapping toes down at the end of your stride. Here, you can go with high knees for explosive jump up, up on the ice. Here, you can put your arms in for momentum. Right? And don't forget to focus on your core as well as the knee pop all the way through the hips. You can also work on bounding. This is excellent to work on your bounding, especially your lateral bounce. So you could take your trampoline and you can infuse it with your power skating skills. As a matter of fact, the plyometric power skater, right? So you load up your one leg back behind you as an under push and you fire off your power leg to the other side, but then go for the rebound effect. It's also great at protecting your joints and taking away all of the pounding that you would get out on the grass or cement surface. Okay, so that's it for this episode of Depra Power Skating. If you need more drills that you can do at home, off ice to transform your game, make sure you check the links down below for the Breakaway Blueprint free ebook and get started on your off season training today. That's it for this episode. Thanks again for stopping by, and just like number 99, I hope you have a great one.